Welcome to the Morning Offering with Father Kirby, your daily call to prayer. Pray with us every day right here on the podcast and in your inbox. Learn more at morningoffering.com. Greetings, friends. Welcome to the Morning Offering with Father Kirby. Today is Monday, September 11th, and today I'd like to talk about Patriot Day. But first, let's pray together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. O oh, Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world for the salvation of souls, the reparation of sins, the reunion of all Christians, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father this month. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, greetings, friends. Uh, today, of course, is a sorrowful day for us in the United States as uh, we recall the barbaric attack on our country on September 11th, uh, 2001. Today, of course, is not only a tragic day in terms of American history, it is also a sorrowful one in terms of the Christian memory. So as Christians, we of course know that any attack of evil, anytime there's cruelty, not only does one people or the immediate victim suffer, but an entire community suffers. And so we of course share in this suffering both as Americans and as Christians. But as Christians, we also know that there is a response. Evil does not triumph, and cruelty never has the last word. At least it doesn't have to. We know as Christians, we can readily turn to the altar of God. We can offer up our petitions and prayers. We can participate in the representation of the Lord's own sacrifice offered once for all in order to ask for the grace of continued healing, for protection, for well-being. We, often know, well, we oftentimes know that by the workings of God's grace, what is meant as an offense can actually become a means of blessing. And isn't that the Christian way? Isn't that the American way? That so oftentimes we take what is meant to be a sucker punch and we turn it into an opportunity to become stronger, to be strengthened. And that has always been the mark of the Christian way of life. And thanks be to God, it has always been a mark of the American way of life. So as Christians, we can today grieve those who died, those 3,000 souls who died on that day. We can grieve for the attack on our national morale, our sense of understanding of goodness that happened on that day. But as Christians, we can also continue to intercede to God that he will pour out continued graces of healing and protection. And that's what we need right now, friends. We need continued healing as a nation so that anytime there's evil done, anytime cruelty or barbarity tries to attack in whatever form, that it does not have the last word and that we be healed from it but also that God will continue to protect us. God has a great destiny for the United States of America. We have a unique place in the providence of God. In order for us to fulfill that, we have to continue to seek the help of God and his protection. We have to respond to his grace in order to fulfill that vocation that he has given to our nation. So today we grieve the loss of those who died. We ask again for continued healing. We ask for continued protection. And today we ask overabundantly for God's continued blessings upon the United States of America. Those are our thoughts for today, dear friends. I want to thank you for joining me. I encourage you to keep fighting a good fight. And remember, you can receive daily spiritual encouragement sent right to your inbox when you subscribe to The Morning Offering at morningoffering.com. God bless you. Thanks for listening today. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. The Morning Offering with Father Kirby is a production of Good Catholic, the media division of The Catholic Company. For more faith-filled podcasts and videos, visit goodcatholic.com.